Do you want a new best run scheme? Madden 24 has that no defense can stop. How about a run scheme with great blocking that will open up huge lanes for your running back to gain lots and lots and lots of yards? If you do, relax because you know I got it. Today's best run scheme is out of the weak eye Z close formation. The three run plays for the scheme are halfback gut, fullback dive, and counter F. All three plays are in the Chargers and Cowboys playbooks. Quick note, for the fullback dive, make sure you have your fastest fullback or tight end subbed in at the fullback position. It works best with this. You can also sub in your biggest running back weight-wise if you don't have a fast fullback or a tight end. For each pre-play setup, we will double team the star player on the defensive line if there is one. Next, we will max protect. This helps the offensive line block better on the run plays. Let's get into the new Best run scheme Madden 24 has breakdown. Now this is the first play, the halfback gut. You can flip this play, which is a good thing. So uh, depending on how that hat count is in your favor or not, flip it towards the weaker side. Right now it's showing that the left side is the weaker side. Uh, we always will double team that elite player or that star player, and then we will max protect. Okay, now the way you run this is you got to be patient. You got to read those blocks. Don't press turbo go up and then to the outside okay you see the arrow is saying go right off of that guard's left side so we're going to max protect and we're going to double team bosa we're going to go right off that left side of that guard and just get it up field don't press turbo until you're out in the open and that's how you run this play right here if we're patient then we get it to the outside for some reason, 54 is going to be a beast today. Okay, we have a star player right here. Let's do him and let's run it to the left. See that? See that? Simple as that. I had to stiff arm a guy right there, but easy one play touchdown, guys. Easy one play touchdown. Okay, the great thing about this play is you can flip it. Okay, let's flip the play, do the same setup. Let's read those blocks and just pick up our yards. Just pick up our yards. Simple, simple, simple. Sometimes we can cut it to the outside. For some reason, that guy came through. 92, young, Jesus. Look at this. Just beasting. Just beasting on him. Look at Pollard. Look at Pollard. I see you, Pollard. I see you, bro. Flip it. No. Let's keep it going right here. Get that double team going. Let's get it to the outside. Don't run into a defensive player and you might have had a touchdown, bro. You might have had a touchdown, bro. Read that block. Good job. Read that block. Another touchdown. Let's get into the next play. Now, for the fullback dive against random defense, Okay, we'll always double team the guy that's closest to where we're running the ball. In that case, is Bosa. We'll max protect. You cannot flip this play, which is not that uh, bad because if you're running with the running back successfully with the other two plays, they won't be expecting you to run with the fullback. But once you do this, just pay attention uh, to the blocking and how it develops and just run that ball straight. Okay. Now we have that linebacker right there. You have to watch out for him. He got picked up, and we'll pick up our three or four yards. Now, I run the fullback dive when I need fourth and one. If I'm going for it or something like that, I need fourth and five, fourth and four. I don't run this when it's on first down, okay? I run this in the goal line. Pick up your one or two yards. If you're on the goal line, you need to score. Uh, but don't run this if you're trying to pick up a lot of yards. If you do have a fast 
uh, running back and you don't like a big fullback or a tight end, you can substitute that in as well, okay? But it's a really great play. Just read the blocks. Read how the play develops. If the hole is not there, cut it to the opposite side, and you'll do fine. See, we're picking up almost 10 yards, or at least six, at least six or five. Let's see where it is. Double team him. Max protect. Let's just run that ball. Let's just run that ball. We're getting those yards. We're converting on that fourth and third down. We need those one yard. We need that one yard. Look at this. Okay. Just like that, guys. Be patient. Don't hit turbo. If you hit turbo before you get past that line of scrimmage, you will get block sheds. Don't hit turbo and just pick your yards up. We'll run this two more times, and then we'll break down the counter F. Oh, man, look at the fullback. Look at the fullback beast telling Pollard, man, I got this. I got this, bro. Real good run play here. Real good run play. Let's break down the counter F. Okay, so here's the last play, the counter F. We have a play that goes to the left. And right, the halfback gut. We also have that fullback dive that goes straight up the middle. And then now we have the counter F that really goes to the right. Okay? You cannot flip this play, but I'll show you how to run it. We double team and we max protect. Okay? We run this ball straight up, straight up, and then go to the outside, to the left or the right. Sometimes the middle of the field is open as well. Like right here, I think the middle is going to be open. We just run it straight up straight up the middle and pick up our yards. If we have to cut it off, read the blocks, and it'll tell you which direction you need to go. But we're just running this ball straight up. We can run it to the outside. Oh, we might get one right here. We might get one. We might get one. Oh, most. But I'll show you how I read that. This is how I read that. First of all, I do my double team on my star player. Then I max protect. Okay, now. I have a lot of stuff going on with these offensive guards. We have pulling guards. We have a fullback coming through. Okay? Fullback is going to kind of tell you where to go. But that pulling guard picks up that bolsa coming off the edge. Okay? And then, as you see, the blocks are developing downfield. 78 is blocking to the left. So I'm going to look to go to the right. Okay? I don't want to run right into that. I don't want to. I know I said run straight. But you run straight and you see how the blocking develops. The blocking is developing to the left where I want to go. So I go to the right. Other blocks are picked up. Just read those blocks and pick your yards up. That's how you run that play. That's how you run mostly any running play. Okay? See this blocking develop again? Let's try to get it to the right. But we want to go straight up. Okay? Let's see. Double team him. See, this is a good defense here. Let's go to the left this time. Let's go to the left. Let's get out here to the left. See? That right side, right, middle right was breaking down. We ran it to the left. I see how this play is developing. I could keep going straight, but you see that linebacker right there? This guy right here? Who is that? 57 is going to get me if I keep going straight. 57 is going to get me. But I see 70 over here, lead blocking. I'll go towards 70. He'll pick up those blocks. And we had to do a little juke, but we're able to pick up six, seven yards. You know? Real good play, guys. Real good play. Okay. Now, successful run scheme is a scheme where you can confuse your opponent. And that is exactly what we're doing here. We don't, we can always audible to the um, fullback dive, okay? Just run that straight up, pick up our yards. Okay, I'll audible again because for some reason, we didn't get any yards. No, he's audible to this. There we go. Oh, we're going to get some yards that time. And it's a really great scheme, guys. Be on the lookout. I will be dropping a passing play, a passing scheme to go along with this, okay? Let's run that counter one more time. Get it to the outside and score a touchdown. Thanks for watching, guys. It's your boy, Wayne6578. Yep, I'm out it, but I'll be.